Hey guys and welcome back to the horrifically vitrified waste that is Minecraft post -fin -M. Will you come back and join me at a very, very auspicious moment? Uh, if I could pull open my inventory, we have 2 minutes 11 seconds until this uranium uh, decides to, uh, whatever it does, decay in a way. So it's uh, time to talk about some other things. First off, look at my extravagant dirt floor. Do you know how hard it was to make this stuff? Uh, also to dig up the obsidian. In fact, I'm not going to do that on camera. I'll carry on doing that off camera. But yeah, th this... This is hard to come by, I had to make this. Uh, I have also, as you know, swiped out a smooth, uh, nice area for my bees. So if we just make sure these guys can go. Unfortunately, I have been reminded that these bee houses, not the best for mutating bees. What I actually need, and I keep pressing the wrong key to open my inventory, so I hope you will forgive me, is the apiary. Now the apiary should be relatively easy to, to deal with. You know, There's some slabs and there's some wood and there's some impregnant, impregnated casing uh but what's this this is in a fabricator like a fabricator really oh got less than a minute uh now why is a fabricator a bit of a weird thing well let's try and type in here and have a look fab oh man we need a transistor which is all this stuff we need a microchip which is all this stuff uh we should have already some of these capacitors kicking around we should also have a machine chassis kicking around some steel shouldn't be too hard and some iron shouldn't be uh, some redstone sorry shouldn't be too hard to get hold of so that should be relatively easy to do so we're going to go do that and put it inside the b room here but we're going to wait 30 seconds so we're going to wander on over here talk about what my plans are for this area now i would like to get some sort of automatic turret defense on the side here uh if we look in the book uh, we'll talk about that in a second. There is this defense quest line where we've got this uh, all these turrets around the outside defensive turrets uh, This one here disposable item so we can just throw stuff in there I'd like to get them mounted on top of all those uh, also whilst we are here Why not there are this extra lives rewards whilst just wandering around and building stuff. I've managed to kill enough ghasts I'm gonna get this AB9 clip and Enough spiders again. Yeah. Oh, oh it happened it happened it reacted into protractium and we've got another two hours for that ah it did actually give me a radiation boost though um, okay cool well I'm gonna eat these hearts and uh, come back with the fabricator and so the fabricator is in place but we're not done now oh no no if i try and put this jungle wood around here it's going to be like oh we haven't got no recipe for this mate and uh, if we have a look in the apiary thing here we can see that if we go to the impregnated casing there is seed oil needed now where do you get seed oil from you can either transpose it from a seed canister which kind of you know yeah okay if supposed but you need to get it to get it in the canister so we need a squeezer i think we can just about manage building a squeezer do you know why because i may have oh i didn't bring a workbench here i may have brought some of the bits with me to make one so let's just quickly do this i'm gonna just throw this in the corner here look at this building up the uh the look of the room as we go now i believe first we need one of these tough old casings here the sturdy casing okay great and then we put the tin oil uh tin on either side and glasses boom squeezer yeah i looked that up before we uh before we got going because you know that's the sort of thing I do. Okay, that's all in place now. I am going to power this up while we talk about what type of seeds I can use. Uh, now, normally we'd be using things like walnut seeds and stuff like that, but I don't have anything of that uh, ilk at the moment. So we're going to have to go have a look at my seed room and see what we can use to make just a little bit, just a little bit of seed oil. Now, having a quick look, we've got all these wheat seeds, so I think I'm going to... Oh, no, I didn't want to pull all those out like that. I think we're just going to pull those, and let's go see what they do, shall we? I'll be honest, when I was planning this, I was kind of hoping we could use some of the wax or the honeycomb or maybe like some uh, some honey to power the squeezer, but no, 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 that's not the way it's going to work. So if we put this in here, this should now start producing some stuff. Now, I believe this is going to put it out into uh, a a bucket here and oil so now how do we get this to be enough to transfer across we're gonna need like a fluid pipe aren't we already my tiny little area is becoming a little bit over 
overflow. And this one extracts and we're going to extract without a signal and that's going to put it straight into here, right? Seed oil, there we go. And hopefully at some point we will get up to the point where this will work. Now I'm not sure how much seed oil it needs to use uh, and I've got a feeling we've probably already hit the thing. No, not quite. Okay, I'm going to sit here and watch this until it actually does some stuff and then I'll come back and get excited with you guys. Potato is another resource with a lot of seeds. I think we might need these as well. All right, that's 250. We have all the uh, resources that we need, and this is now pumping along. This should be going beautifully well. I'm just going to crank up the clockwork mechanism a little bit longer. Uh, are we now just waiting on this to get all the power? Oh, wow, that, that is going to be long then. I think we might need another one of these clockwork things, or maybe something that pumps out just a little bit more power because unfortunately these two are now sharing so ah, we're gonna let that roll we're gonna let that roll finally it's ready to go can i click it no it's got a full full line go on give it to me there we go we've got a full impregnated casing so to make this i think the one thing uh, one of the things we need is three slabs across the top we also want to put this in the middle and all these around the outside. And that gives us our first apiary. Woohoo! Uh, I am going to go and replace this one here, I think. Yes, we're going to do this. I'm going to pop the apiary down there. I am going to, if I can, grab one of these water drones that I noticed we have an excess of. And inside one of these where mutations can take place, we're going to do this. Rocky Princess and Water Drone. This should uh, eventually lead to what I believe will be a common drone. So as time has been moving on, I've been building up a lot of uh, bio waste here that I really need to try and get rid of. Thankfully, one of the quests allows us to do this. We need the vat. Now that's going to take a little bit of building to make happen. Uh, also a little bit of typing, it turns out. Uh, and the vat... As I say, take some building. These fluid tanks need to be done. This machine chassis needs to be made, which is all sorts of troubles. Uh, and the cauldron and stuff like that. So I happen to have made an absolute buttload of iron here because we were overflowing. Uh, something I need to really show you guys. If we come into the secret door here, we're full. We, we are full. We've got all the copper and tin we can possibly take. Looks like sulfur is also full. Uh, I can also tell you iron was full, but I don't think that's so much the case now. No, indeed, I have emptied it out. So I'm going to try and make this fat. The first thing we need to do, obviously, get that cauldron on the go. Uh, there was also some deep down building to be made. So the um, machine frame here needs a tin gear some iron okay, so let's see what else we need to make this work uh four bits of glass so hopefully now with all these bits in place we should be able to come in here aluminium ingots these are something uh we need to make good to see that they've been spelt correctly yeah okay so let, let's just put this together quickly was it around the the corners i couldn't quite remember uh, one there and one there i suppose we will find out as we put them in no of course not click 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 okay so that's that one done what's the next one on our list we needed two fluid tanks uh could we do that awesome i only want two brilliant thank you let's take all these away uh okay next thing we must be getting close, right? We must be getting close. I do not have any cobble. That That's a little bit annoying. Don't forget the aluminium. Uh, we're going to do this here. I don't actually have room to get a 16 out. So let's do this like so. Everything should work out perfectly well. Good, good. All these. Thank you. Boom. Four. Was it just four we need? I think it was just four we need. One, two, three, four. Then we have the machine frame in the middle. And then was it glass or was it iron bars? I think it might have been iron bars. Ah, yeah, it was iron bars. Okay, there we go. Brilliant. Oh, getting really, really warm in the corner here. Really warm in the corner. We still don't quite have enough to do all that. Two fluid tanks, machine sash chassis. Uh, it might be the cauldron we're missing there. Okay, well then let's try putting them in individually and see what it is we're missing and was it then iron around the outside what have, we, what have we done wrong ah it's electrical steel look at that i completely misread it uh we need some silicon charcoal powder and iron we can make the silicon from pulverized glass in a sag mill uh silicon there we go 16 bits will give us what we need 
Okay, silicon wafers. That is one of the first bits we need to do. So we'll put the silicon there and we'll put the uh, iron in there. Now we should have some charcoal powder right here. Okay, brilliant, wonderful, and the best. There is a spider outside trying to eat my face, so I'm going to go sleep whilst that cooks. Bonus fight time. This spider just will not give, leave me alone. There we go. Got some string. Yay. String's always useful, right? I don't know when, but I don't know where, but it will be useful. Is he following me? Uh, he is. Let's try and get him as well. Hey. Come on, die, die, die. Wow, he's tough. And then he's got his head as well. There we go. Okay, brilliant. Job done. That should now be sleepy times. And with the still issue taken care of, the vat. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Now, if I understand this correctly, and I might not because I've not looked up anywhere about this other than yeah, just taking... Uh, taking a guess from what we've seen. I should be able to take these things out of here and just pop them straight in there. Is this a thing? This is a thing. Do we need to provide a power source? I'm not sure exactly how this works. Oh man, there's gonna be something here somewhere. Nutrient distillation is what we're after. I think that's what we're after anyway. There should be something here. We need to put nether warts in with it. Mm, okay, that's a thing. Or some mushroom. There is definitely a need for water. Okay, let's try and put some water in it. No, we can't do that. Dump output tank, dump input tank. I just want to I just want to put some water in. Do you reckon we can do it like this? Yes. Okay, so that's done that. Let's go and grab some more water. We're going to have to feed that in with a regular source of water. And I do actually have a whole bunch of mushrooms and rotten flesh. Okay, so that's the output tank. The next thing is we need some some burning stuff, is it? I don't know. As I say, I'm still just trying to figure this out. Could we put these in here? No, do we need to actually set fire underneath it? Is that a, pro a thing? Uh, give me a sec. I'm going to go away and try and figure out how this works, and I will be back. So, of course, the thing that was missing was power. So this is now uh, mulching down my rotten flesh and my sugar into uh, nutrient dissolution, which I'm not sure what I'm going to be using for, but there will be something I use. So we get the vat. Uh, potato and sugar are coming my way. That is all for making hooch, but we're going to get this portable tank because that just seems like the best plan to get. Okay, there are some other things to do, like when we built the fabricator, we, we got this. Uh, now, we're going to get some resin and some solder. Now, these two things are incredibly easy to make. The resin is just compressed wood. Well, it's what comes out of the squeezer when you compress wood. And solder is lead and tin. And if there is one thing, let, let, me, let me show you. Tin here, we are maxed out of, and lead just below it. I know lead's a little bit short of, but, you know, we're, we're not going to run out of those two anytime soon. So I'm actually going to go for the half heart. The reason being, oh wow, we're going to have to try and get rid of everything here. Let me just uh, go and put this sugar in there. Then that, that'll make things a little bit better. The reason that I took the half heart is because in here I never ha have another half heart. And hopefully we can put them together and boom, extra life. Doing well, doing very well. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, currently died nine times, but we have five hearts, so we should be okay. One last thing. Did you guys see this quest when we did the, the bee box? No, neither did I either. But when we made the apiary, we get this apiarist chest, and I'm going to get, oh, diamond or nether hive. Diamond or nether hive. I'm going to get the nether hive, because it seems like the harder thing to get hold of. Okay, brilliant. Now, when that opened up... The Eliezers. These are things we're going to need if we're going to do anything with the bees at all. Anything useful anyway. Oh, look, a common princess. Oh, man, we could have could have fast-tracked our way here. Now, the reason I say this is if we put the uh, Eliezers in here... No, let's, let's just go with that then. Uh, it takes a diamond. Diamond to do both of them. Now, I know we could have just claimed a diamond... But we've got two here. Oh man, I'm so full of stuff that we're going to have to try and sort that out. So we've got two here. I, I will definitely be making uh, use of those diamonds to make that. But first, I think the first thing we need to do is get our scoop here. Now this could lead to all sorts of trouble. I'm really not sure what's going to happen if we just pop that there and now break it. Have we got the two bees that we're after? Yes, awesome. Uh, so I'm going to take this apiarist chest. We're going to go over to my bee... Uh, bee shed i suppose it's a bee shed isn't it night is approaching so we're gonna have to be quick about it and i'm gonna put down our bee chest on this side i think look at this perfect uh, and in here we're gonna pop these bees tells us all sorts of stuff we're gonna read the elizas and figure out exactly what everything means 
Brilliant. Oh, wow, look at this. Okay, Every, uh, no one knows anything about anything at the moment. Species 2 out of 161. Wow, we have got some work to do here. Okay, I'm going to go tidy up my inventory and things like that. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys, like, this massive spur of progress we have made through the bot book. We gather today in the newly expanded graveyard to mark the passing of Meat Clone 4729. He gave his life expanding the base floor pattern for the skit that follows next. Hi, 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 hi. And welcome to Twitchy's Kitchen. Today brought to you by the need to get something done other than bees in this episode. Filmed live at the Meat Clone 4275 Memorial Kitchen. As you know, we here at Twitchy's Kitchen are all about trying to help people get through this apocalyptic wasteland that we find ourselves in. And I received a letter today from uh, one Mrs. Coldworth out in the desert wastes. She was asking about something simple she could make to impress her friends. Mrs. Coldworth, I have got a recipe for you. All of these fresh organic ingredients should be locally sourced at your closest zombie pack in the wastelands. Mushrooms, carrots, potatoes, and of course the bony remains of your fallen enemy. So what we're going to need you to do Mrs. Coldsworth is take your cooking pot and place it upon the stove. Then throw in one or two of the bones that we asked you to get earlier. Boil it up and make yourself a delicious stock of your enemies. Now keeping that stock in your pot Mrs. Coldsworth, we're going to add some potato, some carrots, and most people could stop here and make a delicious garden soup. But we at Twitchy's Kitchen like to elevate our food to the next level, so BAM! We're adding some mushrooms. And there we have it, Mrs. Carlsworth, apocalyptic soup for your friends to enjoy! Well, that was amusing. Uh, so I basically did all of that, like all of this. I wish I'd done the ceiling actually now that I think about it. So that we could come in here and go, look, I did all these tools here. It was all relatively simple, just stone and stuff to put together. Now I have just realized, yeah, whilst this is all great, I don't think I've got any room in my inventory. I've got a little bit of room in my inventory. Okay, we can do two of these. Okay, so we're gonna get cooking for blockheads, cooking oven, sink and fridge, all to go in here. Obviously, uh, does that take up one, two, three, four? No, and then I get to pick one of these. Now we've got the fridge, sink, cooking oven, and thing, as I said. Well, do we want the block of iron, which I actually have a lot of access to? I'm gonna go for the freezer. So we've got a whole load of stuff here that needs to be put away. But first, I would like to have a look at this cooking for blockheads, because I have not seen anything. Select an item on the right to see its recipe. So is this all the stuff that I can cook right now given what I've got on me? It is. Oh man. Oh, no. Who needs a cookery show? Oh wow, will you look at this? I, I'm, I'm confused though here. Look, look, fresh water gives one bucket gives you fresh water. But here, four bucket. One bucket gives you four fresh water. I'm not sure what's supposed to be going on here actually. No, they look exactly the same. Anyway, that, that's enough of that. Something else I wanted to show you. These here. Uh, hang about. Let me put some stuff away. I've ended up with a whole load of stuff in my inventory from doing this. We will um, move these around. Oh, look. I've got, even got rotten food in here. We will put all that kitchen equipment out at some point. Have I broken my leggings? Oh, how, how annoying. I have actually broken my leggings. Let's put these potatoes in here. Uh, mushroom as well. We will come back and deal with all that stuff. But I wanted to show you that I have made these. What are these? These are sweet potato. It's a, it's a new thing on our, on our line. But we were told to go and make it. If we come back out one here, sweet potato pie. Uh, we can get some more sweet potatoes and we can get some ooh, candied sweet potato, sweet potato pie. I'm not sure exactly what's going to go best there, so I'm going to go for the heart. Awesome. And now, as the hypothermia has set in, I am going to take a small moment to break for sorting my inventory out. And then I think we're going to come back and go make the beerlizer, trealizer, and possibly wrap it up. So, in the fabricator, we're building a trealizer, and we have all the stuff 
for the beer lizer setup. One thing that I did have to do was set this to uh, pull out the the uh, seed oil that we had in there. I was hoping it could go back in the seed uh, squeezer, but obviously this is not a direction that things like to go. Uh, coming in here, we have very nearly got all the power we need. Let's just keep going with this. As I said last time, really do need a second... Um a second power system here. So this is how we make the tree Eliza. Once again, got to wait that last second. Now the beer Eliza, it just means we need a different type of material around the outside there. And this is going to take its time as well. Now what do we use the tree Eliza for? Uh, this is for observing saplings and stuff like that. So let's go and find a sapling. I actually wish I'd done this the other way around now that I think about it. the uh, Doing the bees first would have probably been a good mark. Okay, we're going to start with this rubber sapling or the oak sapling. I'm not sure if the rubber sapling will work. That's why I've uh, changed my mind at that last second there. Now, hopefully in the tree, Eliza, we should be able to do this. Ah, and it needs some honey. Honey drops, in fact. This is one thing that I forgot all about. I have used these before, so I do roughly know what I'm doing but when I say I've used these before it was a long time ago okay so let's get some honey drops out of here and possibly waste them so we pop one of those up there so let's start with the birch sapling boom as you can see there are two parts to every tree almost like uh, like human genetics where you've got recessive and um, dominant traits well this is this one this is the the dominant and this is the recessive traits uh, it's pretty nice actually we've not done any breeding so we know that we're not going to get anything uh, serious out but you can see that there's all sorts of stats uh, for each tree you know how many saplings it cut uh, puts out how how fast the saplings mature how big the trees are going to be how big you need to put them down you know like at the jungles you need to do a two by two well obviously apple oak you only need to do a one by one the yield and sappiness you know how many apples you get well how much sap I don't know if you get I don't know what you get the sap from. That's a new thing for me. Uh, fireproof and what special effects you get. None. Uh, let's have a look at the... Uh, it won't do the rubber. There we go. That. There we go. I thought that was going to be the case. All right. So in here, we should start to be getting the beer lies. We're a little way off. Let's uh, pump this up to maximum again. The thing with these clockwork engines is every time that this piston gets to the top, that's when it pushes out a little... Oh, look, it looks like I'm miming with it. Uh, pulling it. Pulling it. Oh, yeah. Um... <laughs> Yeah, every time that it gets to the top is when it pumps out the power. And you can see it goes faster when it's on the red stage than it is on the yellow stage. So I always try and keep it at the red stage. But obviously, if you pump it up too much, it would blow up and take up this entire corner here. So I don't want to do that. Okay, we have a beer -lizer now. Now, this is the bit that I really, really wanted to get my face stuck into. Uh, I'm going to take half the honey drops. In fact, I'm going to put them straight in there. That's where they belong. And I'm going to come and have a look at these. Not quite done yet oh no we are done yet here that's that's the thing now these are watery drones these started off as common no I, they started as water and then i put a common into it you can see how we've got the inactive common here flower type rocks flowers uh see now this is one of the things that oh hey i wanted that this is one of the things that this was complaining about um Oh, not now. It was saying that there weren't any flowers around when I put it in. So, there we go. No flowers. So obviously we need to put some actual flowers down to make this uh, make this work. It's nice to know what's going on with our queen. Territory, 9 by 6 by 9 Okay, this is good. This is good. Okay, so let's try and make this all good by putting some flowers down next to it. Funnily enough, I have some flowers. So a few of you eagle-eyed people out there would notice that I'm still running around with a triglyceride on my bar despite having done all that cooking stuff underneath. And you might be wondering why, and this is of course a valid question. First off, well done to you people that noticed. Uh, yeah, well done. Uh, secondly, well... This, the triglycerides are great for running around in my own base uh, because obviously it kind of, I work through all the saturation but I'm close enough to everything that I can just top it up again. Uh, whereas when I'm mining and stuff like that, I need a proper food source on the go because I'm, I'm down mining for a long time. Uh, the triglyceride, the saturation could wear out and then I need to work on my actual food bar and the, tri the triglycerides just don't even touch that. Uh, okay, so we've got some flowers here. Let's pop that down. Do you reckon that's going to make it work almost straight away? I do, I do kind of hope so. I don't know if that drone needs to be in there. He doesn't because uh, Queen's... 
you you add the the drones to the pr uh, to the princesses to get a queen. So if you got a queen, you don't need to add a drone. And straight away, you can see that it's working because the flower got put down. That's amazing. I got the flowers, by the way, by uh, you see my little patch of grass. You can see it on my radar, but my little patch of grass over there. Uh, I just bone milled it and got a load of uh, poppies and fl um, they dandelions and stuff like that. I'm wondering why my frame rate keeps dying around here. Must be something to do with the bees. Okay, well then what I will try to do is wrap it up very shortly. Uh, I'm going to say that in here, look, I've even had to close it down, uh, close down the game and open it back up again trying to get the frame rate. But in here we've got the Elizas. We've done both of those. We're going to take the honey drop. Uh, I might want a common princess. I'm not sure if I want the princess or the pollen, but I'm going to go with the princess, despite the fact that I am actually uh, working my way towards that. But there we go. And with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. I will see you next time, where hopefully I would have figured out why I'm only getting five frames per second in this area. I think it's something to do with the bees. Uh, but I will see you then when we're going to do that. Oh, wow, look at the frames. Bye-bye. <laughs>